Now, Liam, uh, today is, uh, this weekend is the 40th anniversary of uh, the team you played in, the Arsenal team you played in, beating Manchester United uh, at Wembley. I know you're going off for a day's celebration and golf uh, and a few cups of coffee and a sandwich. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's a great day to remember Arsenal. And, of course, you have something huge to celebrate because uh, they killed Valencia last night uh, in the Mestalla, 4-2. Um, Valencia, not the club it used to be, I have to say, but still, that's a very commendable uh, 7-3 on aggregate, I think. And you're in uh, the, the Europa League final against Chelsea. Yeah, uh, that's right, Eamon. We're, we're, we're all the lads who played in 79 are getting together today. And it's going to be great to see them all. I haven't seen many of them for many, many years uh, because we've all kind of dispersed all over the, uh, all over the, uh, all over the world. Uh, so, uh, it's great to have them all, all back. And uh, as you say, on a day when Arsenal are in another cup final, um, uh, I was a little bit worried them going into the game. Yeah, uh, we beat them. We beat them three one at home, but I just thought oh, we could be fragile tonight. And uh, when uh, Valencia got the first goal, I said, "Here we go." Uh, but now they played really well. The two guys up front were absolutely brilliant. Uh, they're a good partnership. Those two together, I really like Lacazette and Aubameyang when he puts it in like he did last night uh, was very very effective. Yeah, uh, John Arsenal through, and of course Chelsea through. I watched an hour of Arsenal until it was a done oh, deal, fuck, yeah. and then I watched Chelsea against Eintracht Frankfurt, and they were very fortunate. And Kante wasn't playing; mm. one or two players missing, and Frankfurt actually played quite well. Penalty shootout in, in the end, um, but it's amazing to think that England, the English Premier League, is pr- uh, providing the four finalists. Mm. It's the first time for any country. In world, I mean, it does show Valencia last night in particular, Barcelona the night before, mm. um, or rather on Tuesday, uh, th- how uh, the game in Europe is declining. The big clubs, Barcelona, Real Madrid, mm. both in crisis, uh, and Valencia really having players um, that really couldn't get games in the Premier League. Well, uh, well obviously, I mean, the, the, the money has a lot to do with it in yeah, the Premier League. It's the, the richest in the, in, the, in the world. And the money will always attract the best yep. players, uh, which it has done, and the best coaches. Uh, and uh, like Barcelona and Madrid could live with them because they're such a rich club anyway, but they're in decline at the moment, yep. uh, as, as, as all clubs go, uh, do at some particular stage. But after Barcelona and Real Madrid, if they're not doing it, there's no other club in Spain really going to do it. No, Italy is similar. Yep. There's definitely the Premiership is the richest. It has attracted the best players. It has attracted the best uh, coaches. Yep. So uh, you know, good luck to them. Four teams is, is remarkable for 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 one league to produce the four. Uh, you know, two teams. Sorry, four teams in the two cup finals in Europe is is really really testament to what the what the Premiership is really all about at the moment. Yeah, I mean, Liam, from your perspective, someone who spent a long time in Italy with a great club, Juventus, with a number of great clubs, actually, but Juventus being, you know, the great club you played for and won uh, Serie A with. um, The decline in Italy is particularly striking and at the moment in Spain also, but in Italy it's very striking, isn't it? It is, yeah. Because you look at the Italian team, I mean, you wouldn't say anybody's world class in that team. You know, no. you take away the how good they are defensively, but this, you know, they're just not producing any players. And you even look at the German team, you know, we saw them in the World Cup. Yep. And they're struggling as well to produce the players. And I think you have to look at the uh, the turnaround uh, and bringing young players through in England over the last 10 years has really shown, uh, has been shown to great effect by these but these results they're having, and there's, there's a lot of young English players coming on the scene now that are really at a very, very high level. I think they demonstrated that up to a point in the World Cup. Um, so um, I think the Germans and the Italians and the Spanish have to get their house in order as regards producing their own players. Uh, and of course, uh, what you touched upon there with John, the finances that the Premier League clubs have is a huge advantage over the other teams as well. And I can't think they're going to be too happy about that. Uh, I think 
uh, it's great for for English. Uh, it's great for the English game to have the four teams in the final, but I bet they're seeding in places like Italy, Germany, yeah. so forth. And they want Berners to come back uh, to AC Milan <laughs> and take the checkbook out. But-